Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be helping you with your takeaway, specifically for those of you who are whipping that golf club on the inside, usually a precursor for coming over the top and hitting some big slice shots. Stay tuned, this is really gonna help you out. Now, before we get into it, please press down below, click subscribe, click the little bell, so you get notifications of any upcoming videos just like this to ensure that you're staying on top of your game and helping you improve throughout the year. So let's get into it. Today, once again, talking about those players who whip the golf club inside. I've got a great drill for you. It's one of my favorite. Give it to a lot of players who are struggling to get the sensation of where that golf club should be by the first parallel or when the golf club shaft is level with the ground. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that this is not a cookie cutter method by any means. There have been major champions who have won tournaments by swinging out in their backswing like this and also around in the takeaway. But effectively what they do is they're incredibly skillful and they have compensations to match which ensure that they're able to do what they do consistently and that is the big key. A lot of the time I get players coming into the studio and I ask them, what is the one thing you want to improve? And they always say consistency. Well, think about the golf swing like this. The more inefficiencies you have in the golf swing, the more compensations you need to make. The best golfers in the world, they're incredibly skillful at matching their inefficiencies and their compensations. But for the average recreational golfer who doesn't get the time to work on their game like an elite level player, we need to sometimes move towards a more orthodox swing to ensure that you don't have to make so many compensations and you're not so reliant on timing. So today, once again, talking specifically about that takeaway, I'm gonna give you a great drill for those of you who suck that golf club on the inside or as a checkpoint, when they stop in the halfway back position, they see the golf club head well behind the hands. And using this drill, we're gonna start off by using one alignment stick. And what I want you to do here is you're gonna grab this alignment stick and you're gonna place it right underneath your lead arm. It's gonna poke out a distance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold out the golf club in front of you like this. And so you can see that the alignment stick itself is sitting on the front side of the grip. Now this is quite important because it creates some pressure between the club shaft and the lead arm. And this forms the basis of what we're gonna do with this drill. So taking this setup position from the down the line view, stick underneath the lead arm, pressed on the front side of the grip, and you can see that the stick sits slightly above the lead arm in this position here. Now, once we've gripped the golf club, we're gonna put the club down and behind the ball, and I'm feeling some flex of this rod underneath the lead arm and on the front side of the grip. Now, as we take the golf club back, if my backswing is proficient in its movement, and I'm not holding onto this stick by any means, it's simply just sitting there as the pressure uh, is applied against the front side of that grip, as I take this golf club back, if I would tend to suck this golf club on the inside, you can see how that pressure would cause that stick to release and the stick would slide up the shaft. So once we're in our address position, effectively as we move this golf club back, this stick is staying on the front side of the grip. As soon as that golf club would tend to drift and the golf club head would move behind my body, that would free up that pressure and it would cause the stick to slide off. So that would give you some great feedback that you know that once again, that club has moved too far in and around your body. So let's get that stick set up underneath the lead arm, make some small little rehearsals. And as I do so, I'm really focusing on the feeling of that stick staying on the front side of the grip. Now, as I do this, what do you notice about my hands? Well, my hands are moving more in and the club is staying more out. That would be the opposite to those of you who move this golf club around. Just as I said at the beginning, those players who slice the golf ball, a very typical pattern is a very around and then an over the top motion. So at least by starting this backswing, by getting this golf club moving in such a fashion where it feels like the hands are moving more around, and the club head is more out, it's gonna give you much more control in that first part of the swing to then get your backswing and your downswing more on plane. So if we can get our good setup position and start off in a good manner with how we're taking that golf club away, a lot of the errors that I see players make from day to day, well, they can be conquered simply by making these moves to a more proficient manner. So a drill such as this is a great way, gives you good feedback 
to get a feeling and an idea of how to move that golf club back in the takeaway. It's one of my favorite because it gives you immediate feedback of this stick coming off the club if you get it wrong. So once more from the down line view, as we take this golf club back, you can see now the club and my hands are more in one line. This would be a great check point. You can see the club shaft is almost parallel to the ground, which is matching this sort of white stick down on the ground. And then once you go past that, yes, the stick's gonna come off, but for this exercise, it's really just focusing on this first little movement away until the club shaft is parallel. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Great drill to work on that takeaway, especially for those who tend to suck that golf club on the inside. Try it out, grab yourself a stick, grab yourself an iron, make a lot of little rehearsal swings, and it's gonna go a long way in helping you improve the quality of that backswing and eventually help you hit better shots. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe, comment below if you've got any questions. I'd love to help, but until next time, I'm Kara Gray. Thanks for watching.